Hello and welcome back to the Avatar mod for Crusader Kings 2. We are on the final water tribe in the south area. I was trying to think of the best way of putting it. I was going to say we're on the final bit of the southern water tribes, but we already kind of got that we have the southern water tribe. We have the actual province called that, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that that's meant to be where um, Katara and all of that lot came from. I think that's, I think they were the main group. Anyway, whatever. Uh, we're in a war. Let's do it. Right. Attack in. Oh, we're no longer wounded. We're now scarred. Fantastic. Well, that's good. Right. Head through here. Actually, no. Southern Water Tribe isn't where Katara and that lot were from. It's where um, Korra was from. I think they're from slightly different areas. Unless I'm just completely wrong and they're both from the same area. Whatever. Anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll have a gregarious uh, child. That seems good. Yeah, good. Uh, oh, and betrothed can marry. Yeah, we'll send that one. Okay, attack in. Beat the army. Can't assault it because um, it's too high a fort level, but if we siege it down, we're good. Uh, my lord, a huge diamond has been found in a mine in one of your provinces. It's truly one of those stones that are found once every five centuries. The only question now is, of course, what do you wish to do with it? Crown? Treasury? Wife? Fortune. Wife. Yeah, definitely. It, it's always the correct option. Right, assault that down. We might as well kill their trade post as well. But just have a look at that. What? Well, that's just temp. That's just what the temple looks like. That's fine. There's not... Hmm. Yeah, I thought there was something special about the South Pole in the um, series, but guess that doesn't matter too much in uh, this mod. Your wife was very pleased with the magnificent diamond. She keeps it uh, with her all the time. Relishing the uh, admiration it attracts from everyone who sees it. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. That's, that, that seems positive. Right, attack that one. Attack it again. Might as well kill the trade post. Right. Uh, next province. We'll just kind of circle back ground. The captain of your guard comes to see you, sweating, terror in his eyes. He tells you that Lady Tabuyan has been murdered on the road! My robbers probably wanted to get their hands on the Great Diamond. A patrol of soldiers arrived just as the crime was committed, however, killing the robbers and retrieving the diamond. My wife is dead, and there's a chance we become depressed. Uh, we didn't become depressed, okay. Apart from a more serious event, you found that a lot of little strange bad things happen around the Great Diamond. Several servants who have handled it have died. People around whisper and gossip, they say the diamond is cursed and will bring woe on your dynasty. You're beginning to wonder if they may not be right. Uh, I can sell it, throw it in the river, or it's mine. No, it's mine. It's my precious. Yeah, yeah. Is that a, um... Oh, wait a second. One moment, more, there's more to go. One morning when you wake up, you realize that your precious diamond is gone. Someone has stolen it while you were sleeping from your very bedchamber. Must have been my own blood who did it, or it must be someone on my council. It must be someone on my council. It's my lover. That's why she also killed my wife. Never mind. It was actually Governor Wen, Wen Yen was very upset at my accusation. You hold her in a dungeon while her quarters are searched, but nothing is found. After a while, you start to doubt. Perhaps you were mistaken in your suspicions. You know what? No. She must be guilty. I'm going to execute her. Right. Is that the end of the event chain? Uh, I believe it is. Yes. Okay. Um, well, somebody would like to matrilineally marry my son. I'll be a no there. Uh, I'm gonna go after the serpent. But yeah, was that, um, event chain in the main game, or is that a mod-specific one? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Kinda neat, though. Uh, we should remarry. Definitely. Uh, I think we've, uh, left it long enough. We've gotten over it. Is that, our, that was our second wife. You know what? Now that we were, we've already lost one, so... Second one doesn't really hurt as much, I would say. That's obviously not true, but... Yeah. Uh, let's head down here. Find ourselves someone new to marry. Uh, oh, what would be great is if there's a waterbender we could marry. That would be fantastic. Actually, I think I know where we could get one. If I go waterbender, uh, they have to be a woman. Actually, is there any in my court? No. Uh, oh, yeah. How about join court? Yes. Hmm. And they'll say no because they're a different religion to marriage. Okay, fair enough. Worth a try, worth a try. Right, let's just marry, um... Yeah, let's just marry someone younger. 
That's fine. Uh, looking for genetic traits. Oh, a genius. Genius firebender. Perfect. We'll marry her. Right. And we're also going to go immediately out on the hunt. Fine, we are now married. Uh, apparently they decided to attack us in the South Pole. That didn't really go very well. It's lonely out there. I wonder if you'd stay the night. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, yes, and we're going to bring um, Nozumi back to court with us. We now have yet another lover from the uh, hunting uh, party that we went out with. Um, you've returned to your court. The hunt for the elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wilds. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, head up here. And we'll siege this one down. Oh, we're not leader of that siege. We have a uh, granddaughter, I think that was. Ah, too many pop-ups. No, too many pop-ups. A nation of Nang Chang is now considered... A is no longer considered as your part of the Earth Kingdom. That's neat. Um... Although we're not leader of the siege, we appear to be doing well anyway, so that's fine. Like, we seem to get the land, so I think I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. Right. Um, they might just want to surrender now. Oh, that make me happy. That just changed color. <laughs> I just saw that change over time. Or oh, maybe it's because it became winter or something, or summer? I don't know if... I didn't know the game did that, if it does that. Wait, what did we... Hey, they did they de-siege? They did de-siege this. Wait, no they didn't, they just, they made another prov, they made another, uh, like, uh, building here, and then that's why it said that it, uh, de-sieged it. Because we no longer controlled all of it, because they'd made another building. That's kind of weird. Okay, um, right, uh, we'll give that away to our son. What's the land called? Inupiatun. Okay, that's fine. Uh, why don't you have that one? And we'll wait uh, a couple days. Oh, what do we need? New commander? Yeah, new commander. We can get one of those. Yep. Uh, anything else? Ex truces are expiring in 20 days. Perfect. Time to declare war. Uh, council votes no. Why? Because we're missing a seat. Oh, yeah, we are. We're missing two seats, in fact. Uh, okay, we'll have Tuli and we'll have uh, Shiyu. That's all right. Why don't you collect taxes in our capital, all the way over here. And yeah, I think that's fine. I should probably do it. They still vote no, because everyone's returning a favor to uh, my cousin. Hey cousin, why don't you have a gift of five gold? He now likes me too better, uh, on top of that. See, he's going to stop being malcontent now. Okay, maybe we'll give him an honorary title as well. We'll make him a seneschal. Maybe that'll work. Uh, I was invited, especially, I was specially, I guess that's meant to be, invited to my friend's sermon, and it was a ca catastrophe. The poor man stumbled, lost his words, and it was all an incomprehensible mess. Okay, I didn't dare tell him that. Um, I did not dare tell Sage Hogyu what I thought about his sermon, so I just smiled and nodded nervously when Age Sogyu talked to me. Okay, that's good. Right, he's now switched to a pragmatist. Fantastic. He'll be all for a war against a weak person. I want to take their capital now. Just split their nation in half. There we go. Straight in here. That's fine. My vassal is now a barbarian. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really bother me. Oh my god. Um, does everybody want to marry her? I'm guessing the answer is yes. Oh, wow. There's so many people who want to marry her. Uh, why? Okay, son. Does she have, like, a claim on something? No. Okay, they just really want to marry her. Okay, um... I don't know. How about you marry this one? Because this person is stupid. Or slow. This person is homosexual, so is probably not interested. He's also dying slowly from chest pains. So given that this is the only person who is likely to um, notice that they're married to you, I think that seems like a good marriage. Right. You know that uh, the options are slim when the ma your main thing is consciousness. That, that That's your main reason. Like, 
uh, continued life and consciousness are your two big things in terms of choosing uh, who you're going to marry. Right. Head up here. Stop attaching to me. They, they've got... This guy has an army and he was just attaching it to me everywhere I went so I couldn't actually siege anything. Alright. Ah, well, luckily, we I think we have an organizer so we're able to outrun. But, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Well, why would you go that route? There's just one province. Just go through the enemy territory. My nephew is a skilled tactician. That's good. 100% uh, war score. Offer peace and force demand. Right. Head over here. Uh, we'll give away the lower holding. And then we'll give away the upper holding to... Um, yeah, my son. Right. Who will continue being very happy with us. Wait, which one is it? Starts with an I, doesn't it? Am I, is this one I'm not allowed to give away for whatever reason? Am I... Oh no, yeah, I'm just blind. That's fine. It happens. Uh, too much, but it happens. Uh, we'll take the realm prosper. That way we have lowered revolt risk for like a month. That's okay. Right. Starting to get our name showing properly down here. Just need a few more provinces. Wonder if I can get it to go over Antarctica if I take the South Pole. Although there are already some wars, aren't there? Yes, Fire Nation uh, wars for that one and for... Oh, and for this one as well. Who's it load for that one? Oh, well that kind of makes sense, I suppose. It will declare for the South Pole. That seems like a good one. You're now a malcontent again. But I've given you all my money. Don't make me just remove you from the council. I don't really want to do that. How about you educate uh, my granddaughter? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can educate the bastard granddaughter. Right, now how do you feel? You changed your mind in being angry at us? No, now you're returning a favor to High Lord Fang the Bold. Who's ha- Right, so this should be fine. No, but High Lord Fang doesn't want to declare war. Because High Lord Fang is a glory hound. High Lord Fang, would you not return a favor to me? No. <sighs> what if I gave you, like, a large gift? He's gonna say no, continue. Yeah, okay. May need to do a little uh, council revamp here. Uh, right, you? Well, actually, let's just have a look at my council. So you're returning, everyone's returning favors. So Minister of Intelligence, first to go. You're not landed and um, you're not voting with me. So let's put you in there. Right, so we got one on our side. Who else can we get rid of? We can probably get rid of my advisor who keep, yeah, who keeps voting against me. I'm sorry, you're fired. You're being replaced with my son, Ozai, who's a pragmatist, and he's on my side. Now let's see how we're looking. Yeah, we're good now. I would like the South Pole, please. Right. Head down here. Uh, we can't quite get it yet, but that's okay. Head up here, and we'll siege this one down. Resist our foul... Actually, we are cruel, aren't we? Oh, wait, I have uh, one of my vassals in prison? I'll resist my foul impulse, uh, pulses. Why is he in my prison? What, what happened? Been in prison for three years? Oh. I f I've completely forgotten why he's there. Uh, You know what? He's infirm. I think I might just let him go. Well, that's alright. Just a little uh, clerical mishap there. Just leaving him in prison forever. Not doing anything with him. That's fine. Next province. Uh, we are going on a hunt again. That's fine. Right. We cannot assault. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. You find plenty of bugs, snakes, and riding sores, however. We are now angry. Well, fair enough. I won't give up. We'll keep looking. And my minister of war has just informed me that someone tried to uh, seduce someone else in their scheme to seduce my wife. That's just not on. I'm not going to arrest anyone. Just not something we're going to do. Uh, what peace offer did he accept? Kind of intrigued. Uh, High Lord Taku the Warmonger's peace offer. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wait, no. It was, uh, so she accepted a peace offer. 
Don't know what it was. Interesting. Uh, it must have been something that he pressed on her. Hmm. I don't know. There's no truce on either side. It's very weird. Uh, we'll ignore that one. Not going to get rid of a trade post. Just going to siege this down with the uh, other troops that are sitting here. All 100 of them. Yep, that's fine. Head over this way. Hopefully they'll just uh, surrender. We have another uh, granddaughter. Azuya. Or As Asusa? Asusa? Something like that. Anyway. Give you a struggle education. And we'll head down to Nunavut. And start sieging that one down as well. Hopefully he just surrenders at this point. Oh, he's now attacked us. Which seemed like a very smart move on his part. 100% war score. Offer peace and force demands. Nice! We've made the whole bottom of it pink. I love it. Uh, but our name does not go over Antarctica, which is very disappointing. I'm kind of hoping to get it to curve underneath. We'll give that away. Give that all to our uh, son. We're now granting him the South Pole. No, I think if we attack, if we get this one, we might be able to get it to curve. As your aggression continues and more territories fall under your control, there's been an ever-increasing need to stomp down on these foolish enough and those foolish enough to defy you. A tyrant you may be, but one of necessity. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I can love with being a tyrant. My wife is pregnant, but I was away. That can't be right, can it? Mmm. And it's not feeling good, especially with the news that someone was trying to seduce her. Right, can we attack him again? Uh, yes, we can. I would like to attack for uh, Nunavut. Right, in we go. I've thought it over. I cannot be the father of my wife Jaya's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put the matter to rest. I'll hire someone to find out. Oh, we also need a new council position for a marshal. That's going to be Lee Wee. Right, and he will continue making our retinue cheap. I'm going to confront her directly, even though the maid I hired did not find out anything. Gia started crying when I asked her if she's being unfaithful. She profusely ensures me of her undying love, virtue, and steadfastness. But I'll never be entirely sure. Hmm, we'll keep an eye on her there. Keep an eye on her. Yeah, you know, I can't really be too mad, given that this event popped up straight after, where we now have a daughter... Well, is that a third daughter? No, that's... Sorry, that's a first daughter. Is that our daughter with uh, Megumi? I think it is. It's actually not very clear on that one, but I assume that's why it popped up. Oh, we've got the 13th Earth Spirituality Uprising. Where is it? It could be... Oh, it's up here. I was going to say it could be literally anywhere. Just attacking. That's fine. We should be fine, even with no morale. Salt that down. Right, next province. Salt it down. And assault it down. 89%. We'll head over to Oiki. Um, a son was born to Zing Zhu and Hong Yu Hong, named Tom Tom. Well, at least he'll know where he's going in the future. He knows what's ahead of him. They're bad jokes. Yep. Yep, very bad jokes. Alright, uh, head up this way. And we will assault this down. Oh, we already have a 100% war score. Why, well, I've rather stopped for peace and force our demands. Come on, curved name. It's stuck. It's stuck on that bit. I guess this side isn't large enough to have a name. What I'm worried about is it's going to put the, it's going to put two separate names and it's just not going to look very good. But, you know, it's fine. Fine. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Name manipulation is always... Uh, it, it's an art more than a science. Lady Gia has given birth to a stillborn little son. Kind of worrying as my son-in-law, uh, as the picture there. Right, uh, there's actually no land that isn't sieged by this guy. So I think I might just wait a second or two. Oh no, there you go, there's land that isn't sieged. Um, this one's about to finish, so what are you going for? You're going for this one, that's okay. And then you are going for Kwana. If we attack for Ubalami, we should be okay. Yeah. I'd like to attack for Ubalami. Uh, using that one. Right. Salt it down. We're not going to destroy trade posts once again. Uh, we will salt this down. 78%. Head over to Oiki. Saddle my horse. We're going on a hunt. They has usurped the title. 
Not. Oh, that's just disappointing. It's only bending on. It's not even on this side anymore. That's just awful. Terrible. We also inherited a siege, though, which is very nice. I'll pay one gold to keep a trade post running. That seems like a good idea to me. Always willing to surrender. What a surprise. Yeah, I, I, apparently I'm just incapable of clicking, uh, left clicking on that. I just have to right click and just uh, ignore it entirely. Right. Um, oh, I, for a second I thought it just disappeared entirely, but no, it's just not curved right. Again. Right, so this is now held by the Earth Island people. But there's some land that isn't held by my son, which is just very not on, but that's okay. He can have Ublami. Also, I should be able to create the kingdom now, I'd imagine. Uh, de jure part of the kingdom of the Southern Water Tribe, which I will now create. And pass off to my son. You are now king of the nation of the Southern Water Tribe. Which is quite a title, but that's okay. Right, uh, I now want to attack this one. Oh, I need to wait till March. That's fine, we'll wait till March. Uh, you spend weeks in the wilderness and you do not find your prey. Okay, well that's fine. As long as we're not stressed, we're okay. Right, uh, declare war. Oh yeah, 15th of May. Another five days. Oh, there's the, uh, there's Kwana. So only two provinces left now. Pay one gold and we'll attack for this one. Uh, this one, right here. Head over to Oiki. Assault it down. Assault it down. And back over to this one. Uh, we have y Yong Zi Nua. Let's finish her education. Um, that's fine. We have a bunch of people in my prison right now. Um, I think we'll wait till the wars are over and then release them. That seems okay. Right. There's another Earth Spirituality Uprising. Where's that? Up here? Up here? Where is it? Oh, it's over here. That's fine. Same deal. Raise men, attacking. Temujin's fairly good at this now. Uh, we'll ignore that one. Right. We have Earth Spirituality Infidels. We will uh, let that person rot. Let her rot as well. Assault down. Assault down. And assault down. We have now won two wars. I actually left clicked for once. Wait. I declared for that one? I thought I declared for the other one. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, yeah. They're very slightly differently named. That's fine. They'll also offer peace in this one as well. Nice. Um, right. Head over this way. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah, so also give away the lower titles. Then give away this to my son, Gang. That's okay. You can have that one. Setting them up well in life. Okay, ignore that one. Troved can marry, we'll just accept that. Uh, Governor Bao feels I risk too much of my escapades and tried to persuade me to stop risking my life. No, of course we're going to continue risking our life. Tom Tom Miko died, my, that was my father-in-law. Okay, we can shut the gates. Uh, there is not a disease in our realm, so that's okay. There's just a disease somewhere in one of our many bits of land. Uh, there are two people declaring for this one. Uh, I think we're going to just declare for it as well. Oh, we have raised army levies, of course. Get rid of those. Yeah, who needs those? Declare our war. Requeaky. Also, while we do this, I'm just going to prepare ahead of time. Grab all of our vassal boats. So as many of them as we can, which I think is all of those ones. And we're just going to move them all down here. Right. Attack in. Let her rot. That's fine. The sieges are over. Offer peace and force our demands. We've now taken the lands. We can give that away. Uh, we'll give all of that to my son. He can have Queaky. That's okay. We have enough boats yet? Nope. Okay. Uh, boats. Uh, if we grab them, as many as we can here. It should be... Wait, am I... Too far out to grab the boats? I think I was, yeah. Wait, I'm still too far out to grab the boats. There we go. That's better. Or maybe I just... Yeah, I should be selecting boats here. 
missing like a lot of boats. Where did they all go? Ah, there we go. They were all in the center. They're all now we're just gonna go into this one. Right, I've risen so fast to the top, other people regard me with envy. Okay, Lady Jaya begged me to help her become as successful as me. It was almost disgusting how she admired my ambition and success. I'll teach you, but it's gonna charge you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the secret to success is to just, you know, inherit a lot of land. And then, at that point, you're pretty good. You know, once you've got the land, you're, you're, you're just set. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna head all the way up here. And once we get up there, we'll uh, work on the next one. On a lark, I decided to travel among the common folk incognito, but with a friend, a servant, and a bodyguard. As we ride through the forest, an arrow suddenly sprouts from the neck of my trusty guard. Shouting a warning, I ride like crazy to get away, and managed to outdistance the bandits. Amateurs. Yeah, yeah. We've already been captured once, we don't want to be captured again. We have another grandchild, this time it's called Luten. That's good. Very good. The more I think about it, the more ridiculous it seems. A high lord having a rival so much beneath me, it seems a bit silly to hold him as my rival. I have a ri I have three rivals. Yeah, one of those is my nephew. You know what? Yeah, there's no point in this rivalry. Get rid of it. How many rivals do I have? Uh, wait, never mind. Nothing happened. Uh, this guy's got rumors against me. Yeah, he's doing the uh, intrigue events against me. Wait, Western Air, Air Islands. Uh, is that not meant to be under like... Oh yeah, we could just create the Western Air Temple. And then give, I don't know, this uh, this person all of it. Why don't you have the Western Air Temple? There you go. That person will stop trying to kill me now as will be an ineligible target. No, I'm not destroying trade posts. I'm, I'm not against trade. The trade must flow, as they say. Right. There's a Southern Spirituality War. Wait, why is that so much more pink than- I just realized that. This whole thing is more pink than anywhere else. Look at it, that's bright pink. That's almost our original color. That's a large uprising as well. We're only able to get 3,000 troops there. Eh, whatever, someone will deal with it. Or actually, I just thought of a much, much better way of dealing with it. Uh, I do need to wait just a second, but I could probably raise the levees there. Um, yeah, we'll have to send the boats down there at some point. Right, uh, I think I'll send the boats down here, and I will end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Actually, I need to leave the boats up here. Um, and end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.